Hello and welcome to the Photo Backup Stick video tutorial series. Today we are going to talk about backing up from Apple devices using the Photo Backup Stick Universal. The Photo Backup Stick Universal is the version that will plug directly into your iPhone or iPad to back up. So to begin, you plug your Photo Backup Stick into the charging slash data port for your iPhone or iPad. It is the lightning connecting end of the Photo Backup Stick. Once you plug it in, it will prompt you to install the Photo Backup Stick app. Choose to install that app. Once installed, you can run the app. Now, if you already had the app installed, it will ask you if you want to open the Photo Backup Stick app, so choose to do that. Once it's opened, the next step is to tap the Start Backup button. Now, you have three different backup buttons. You have the backup photos and videos button, backup photos only, or backup videos only. So once you've tapped on the option that you want, it's going to ask you if you want to back up all content or select content. This will allow you, if you only want to back up certain photos um, or certain albums, you can choose to do that. If you choose to, uh, to tap on backup all, it will go through and back up everything and that's it. It's, it's really simple. If you want to select your content, it's a little bit more complex, so let's go through that process. So once you tap select content, it's going to open up all the albums that you have on the phone. And yours might look different as you may have different types of albums from different apps. Um, so from here, you can either choose to back up entire albums by tapping the checkbox here for each album you want to back up, and then tapping on done. If you want to back up individual photos, from a specific album, tap on the album itself, and then tap on select. Once you've tapped on select, then you can tap on individual photos that you want to back up, and you can go through the entire album and tap uh, each one that you want to select, and you can tell that they're selected because it's got the check mark by each one that you've got selected. After you've got them selected, tap the, uh, the done button here, once you tap that, you're going to see this screen. It's just going to be a little bit different. Tap on the My Albums to get back to the, the screen. And it doesn't show it right now, but you do have selected uh, photos to back up. So all you have to do now is click and tap the uh, Done button, and it will start the process. Once the photos are backed up, whether you backed up all your photos or if you back, backed up selected content, you have the option to convert to um, JPEG. Apple devices take photos in HEIC format, which is different from the standard JPEG format. They do this to save space on devices. Um, they, they guess it's, they feel it's more um, convenient, I guess not convenient, but uh, efficient to have um, HEIC format. Unfortunately, a lot of things can't support HEIC format, such as digital frames or most TVs. Um, so if you're going to use your photos and things like that, or maybe even printing them at a kiosk, it may not support HEIC format, then you're going to definitely want to um, convert them to HEIC. Uh, that process might take a little bit of time, but once you do that, you're all done. So now that you've completed a backup, Let's show you a couple of other, other things on the uh, app here. If you tap on the settings icon down here, you have three different options for settings. Number one, you can actually uh, convert to HEIC uh, during the backup process. If this is green or on, um, it will convert it as you back it up and you don't have to go through a separate conversion like I just showed you. Um, if you have photos backed up to iCloud, they may not actually be stored on your phone. Uh, you might be able to see thumbnails of them, but the actual photo will not be on your phone. So you have to enable uh, backup from iCloud to back up those photos. So to do that, just make sure this is green or on. Um, if you don't want to back up from your iCloud because maybe you uh, don't have an internet connection um, or you've got photos on there that you don't want backed up, then you can make sure this is turned off. Last is about the photo editor. The photo editor allows you to edit photos, um, rotate them and crop them, etc. And if you're doing a lot of photos, if you 
turn this to on or green, then it will remember the last photo that you edited and pick up where you left off. Because a lot of times as you edit photos, you may not be able to do it all in one session. You might close the app. But when you come back to it, if you have this enabled, um, you can edit those photos starting from the last one that you edited. So speaking of editing photos, this is the last thing that we're going to show you today is how to view and edit photos. So if you want to just view the photos, you can view them um, by clicking on this. You can also edit them as well using our phone to frame editing feature. Now phone to frame is designed to be able to take your photos from your phone or tablet and display them properly on a digital frame or a TV with a 16, dot, uh, 16 to 9 aspect ratio. Uh, that's the standard aspect ratio so they will display properly on your, your TV or digital frame. So once you click on, or tap on that you're going to see the different folders um, from all the devices that have been backed up onto the stick. And so you might actually have other phones or other computers back up on here. Um, so tap the ones that you want, select the ones that you want to edit, and then tap the next button. This will bring up the photo editor. And this will allow you to swipe through each photo and to view them and edit them if you want. So if you see a photo that you want to edit, uh, maybe it's upside down, maybe it doesn't fill up the entire screen like you want, um, tap the edit button. You'll notice this virtual frame here is actually the same size and the same aspect ratio as TVs and digital frames at 16 by 9 or 16 to 9 aspect ratio. So if it doesn't fill up all the space here, it's not going to fill up all the space on your frame or TV. So you can tap edit and using the Apple motions you can um, pinch to expand or contract the photo until it fills the entire sp uh, space of the frame. You can actually use one finger to move the photo around in the frame. Or up here, you can also use the rotate button. So if it's upside down or vertical and it's not quite right, you can tap on that to rotate it until it appears right. You can also delete individual photos um, as you are editing them or viewing them if you don't want them on your backup anymore or if you don't want them to display on your digital frame if you're going to plug this into your digital frame or TV. Tap on save and once saved you can swipe to the next photo. And that's it. That's how to back up from Apple devices and to edit your photos so they appear right on your phone to frame or TV. Thank you for joining me today.